If you're new to the channel, I collect video games. I buy and sell things so that I can pay for my video game collection and I document that here on the channel. Playlist in the description. If you're a regular, this is going to be a little bit different. So as the title suggests, yes, I want to get into game dev. But I have no experience. I'm not like these other YouTube channels who say, hey, I have no experience in creating video games. I'm going to enter a game jam and create one within three days. And then they have this pretty decent looking game at the end of three days and it turns out they did no basic code or they had art skills or they had sound skills or they just knew how certain things worked. I know nothing. The closest I ever became to becoming a game developer was applying to the University of Liverpool back in 2004 for some sort of game design course. I can't even remember what it was. I got into it incidentally but I didn't go. I'm 36 and I want to learn a useful skill. When it comes to useful skills I don't really know an awful lot. I can put a shelf up just and I can create a running training plan. That's probably about the extent of my skills. That's all I can do in life. Oh, and I can video edit. Of course, I did teach myself how to do that, which many would consider to be a skill. It is quite literally drag and drop. You do get better at it as time goes on, or at least I hope I have. And that's it. That's all I can do. So if you want me to edit a video, I can do it. If you want me to put a shelf up, I can do it. It won't look great, but I can do it. And if you want to run a fast 5k, I am maybe qualified to tell you how to do it. But that's it. The object of me learning game development isn't necessarily to create a masterpiece that I put on Steam and then I eventually release on the Switch. That's not really what the goal is here, although that would be fantastic. The goal is to learn the inner workings of how a video game works. You know, I know what code is, but I know nothing about it, if that makes any sense. I know that you need to know how it works in order to make a video game work, but I don't know anything about code. Yes, I did art in school, but that was a long time ago. I can't even remember the last time I held a pen, let alone drew something. And sound? I mean, I... I don't know. I don't know nothing. I know how Spotify works. Does that count? So over the past couple of months, I've been watching devlogs here on YouTube. What is a devlog? I hear you cry. Well, it's literally a game developer who is documenting their journey on creating their video game. There are several really good ones, and maybe I'll link a few in the description. The one thing that I've learned very quickly from watching one tutorial on YouTube is that game development is simple. Download the engine that you want to create your game in, have a YouTube video next to you, and copy everything that they do. And bang, you have yourself a video game. Now the problem with that is that if I close the YouTube tab down, start a new project in my game engine, and then I have to do that again, but without the YouTube video, I wouldn't have a clue on where to start because you are literally copying someone else. You're not learning. You're typing things from column A into column B and then hoping that something sticks and nine times out of ten it's not going to and you do have problems with that as well. If you copy someone and they teach you how to create like a, a movement like controller for a player and certain other things and then they kind of stop uploading or something you go and follow someone else and their code won't fit into your code. And because you haven't actually learned anything, you won't know how it works. You won't know how to put their code into your code. You go watch someone else, you try and implement it into your code, doesn't work, frustration, close the laptop, never again. So I don't want to be stuck relying on other people to teach me anything and everything I need, or rather that I can copy. I want to be taught and that's what I've been doing. What do I have so far? So I've downloaded Godot. Godot, Godot, whatever you want to call it. I call it Godot because there is a play called Waiting for Godot and it's spelt exactly the same so I feel like that's how it should be said. Anyway, the reason I've decided to go with Godot is because A, it was free. It looked fairly simple to use when it comes to like 2D games, like side-scrolling games and things and that's pretty much all I want to do at the moment and maybe eventually like a top-down game. Learning game development is daunting. There are an awful lot of things that can go wrong. If you put one dot in the wrong place, one bracket, one comma, one exclamation mark in the wrong place, the whole thing doesn't work. And you need to identify what is wrong. Yes, you have a debug and you have things that tell you, you know, well, this is broken, this line of code doesn't work, but they don't say you need to do this to fix it. You need to know how to fix it yourself. It can be trial and error. You can look up tutorials or problem solving. And of course, you can't just sit there and go, right, I don't want to look at tutorials. I don't want to copy and paste. I'm just going to learn this myself. You can't do that. You can't just sit there and type random things in. So I've been learning the lingo. I do know how to write basic lines of code now. Now, I can't write 
anything and everything and it will take me a very long time for it to be properly ingrained but I have something. So on screen right now is the game that I've built. Now like I said you could easily do this in 20 minutes by copying and pasting a tutorial from YouTube. But as I mentioned, I don't want to do that. I want to know how it works. I want to teach myself. But at the moment anyway, I have coded this from start to finish. And I say that, I'm taking credit. There is a basic controller within Godot. So as soon as you open up like a character body 2D, which is basically the, your controlled character, uh, it produces a script. So I only really had to change three words in the whole thing to make it work. But essentially, I do know how it works. And that's what the most important thing here is. I know all of this code, like I know how it all works. I know why this is here and that is there. But this is just a basic movement script. There are thousands of different ways you could write this and it would be slightly more responsive maybe it would give you different animations and things and it looks basic for someone who's never done anything with regards to game development maybe you've never watched a devlog maybe you've never looked into it it looks like you'd be able to do this in three seconds right but you need to add collision to your player you need to add collision to the blocks otherwise you'll just fall right through the map and if you need to add anything like an enemy you'll need to add the enemy itself they need collision you would need to add in a health system for both the enemy and the player and then you need to add a damage system in and it takes a long time to do these things now I do generally know how to do it I wouldn't say I could do it 100% without looking at maybe like some sort of tutorial just for like a bit of reference but this is what I want to do not from now on and I'm not going to turn the channel into some sort of like game development thing although I will do the odd video here or there when I update you on what I've learned and what the the game that I'm working on is kind of developed into and I know this isn't going to be for everyone not everyone is going to care what I'm doing with regards to this you know you just want to see me collect video games and that's fine if I ever get to a point where I'm thinking that I can put this into a game that I want to create I've got a few ideas of different mechanics that you don't see in games that often I've got a cool idea for a story or something and I put everything I have into making this game and I do want to put it on Steam eventually or maybe I want to put it on itch or something and have people download it from there, then maybe I'll make a separate channel dedicated to the video game or to the, to the studio that I have or something. But for now, I'm just going to give you little updates, incremental every now and again, to show you what I'm working on. And if you want to see that kind of thing, let me know in the comments. If you've got any experience whatsoever in game dev, maybe you've got some tips for me, let me know in the comments. And just as a side note, I know that this isn't going to be a, hey, I'm going to create a video game, I'm going to put it on Steam, and I'm going to get rich. I know that's not going to happen. I I am realistic. For someone who doesn't know what they're doing, it's going to take me months in order to create anything worth playing and I'm fully aware of that and I am more than happy and willing to dedicate the time to it. But at the moment I'm enjoying learning something new. It can be frustrating when something doesn't work and it is literally as simple as putting a space somewhere or an underscore or a, a full stop in the wrong place it can be so infuriating but when you finally work it out and you have it functional it's like wow i actually did it and i didn't copy and paste it either and that is the biggest takeaway from me i'm not just copy and paste in here i am learning something so that's it for now feel free to subscribe for more little updates like this but we'll be back to your regular scheduled programming very very soon with another series video if you want to check out a video from that series you can click here and until the next time goodbye